Lord, you know I need you more and more. Where would I be without you? Lord, you know I need you more and more. Lord, you are my everything. Lord, you everything to me. to Jesus, the Son of the living God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hosanna, Hosanna to God in the high sense of God. Welcome to the third Sunday of July 2024. Clap your hands and celebrate the glory of God. Clap your hands and celebrate the glory of Jesus. Clap your hands and celebrate the faithfulness of our Father. Celebrate God's faithfulness and mercy. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We give you glory and honor. Thank you for this day, Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and say, My Father, my God, thank you for your divine protection upon me and my family. My Father, my God, thank you for your divine protection upon me and my family. My Father, my God, Thank you for your divine protection upon me and my family. Glory be to Jesus, sense of God. Clap your hands and celebrate the faithfulness of God. My Father, my God, thank you for your divine protection upon me and my family. Eternal rock of ages, I worship you. I adore you. I bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lift up your hand and say, Thank you, Lord, for keeping me safe. Thank you, Lord, for keeping my loved ones safe. Glory be to Jesus. Turn it to prayer. Father, I give you glory and honor. Thank you, Lord God, for keeping me safe. Thank you, Lord God, for keeping my loved ones safe. Hallelujah, glory, glory, glory. Blessed be your holy name. Manga da lagada go, jigre dinimi wahanga lagada bahazalatama. Thank you, God, for keeping me safe. Thank you, Lord God, for keeping my loved ones safe. Hallelujah, glory be to Jesus, the Son of the living God. Psalm 124, from verse 1 to 6. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side. Now may Israel say, verse 2, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, verse 3, then they have swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Verse 4, then the waters has overwhelmed us. The stream has gone over our soul. Verse 5, then the proud water has gone over our soul. Verse 6, glory to God. Blessed be the Lord who had not given us as a prey to their teeth. Sense of God. God is the reason why we are still standing alive and well. God is the reason why the predictions, the prophecies of the wicked, those who do not want us, the things they have said against us are not coming to pass because of the Lord God Most High. Please lift up your hands. Thank God for protecting you from the evil predictions and prophecies of the wicked. 
Hallelujah. Clap your hands and give the Lord praise. If you only have an idea of the things that the wicked have said against you. They have said you will not see the next day. They have said you will not see the end of the year. They have said your children will never succeed. But God has continuously frustrated their expectations and their desires. He has continuously disappointed their expectations and their desires. So thank the Lord for protecting you from the evil predictions of the wicked. Glory to God. Hallelujah. May go do bana agasaka prakata laka jukla parahandia. Father God, I thank you for protecting me from evil declarations and prophecies. Thank you for protecting me from the evil predictions of the wicked against me, against my family, against the works that you have committed to my head. Thank you for putting the enemy to shame again and again. Glory be to your holy name in Jesus' mighty name. Please, I want you to thank the Lord for protecting you from things that haunt and afflict others. For things that haunt and afflict others. God continuously deliver you from those things. God continuously protect you from those things. There are evil things that haunt after people. Hunt after people with the intention to destroy them. But the hand of God has continuously protect you from those evil things that haunt and afflict others. Hallelujah. Clap your hands and turn into prayer. Lord, we give you glory and honor. Maga dagoshke dina mego deliga na gasko bina agala wahasa bradia in Jesus mighty name you that have a terrible pain at the left hand side of your back as if the pain is coming from the inside very terrible sharp pain whatever is wrong with you particularly if it's connected to your heart by the power that is in the name of Jesus I decree and I declare be healed and be made whole. Be healed and be made whole. Be healed and be made whole. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Sense of God. One of the ways God protects us is by guiding us and helping us to make the right decisions in life. Hallelujah. So we are going to thank the Spirit of God for guiding us and leading us in making right decisions because one wrong step can crush your entire destiny one wrong step can destroy your life so one way by which God protect us is to keep us in line with his will glory be to Jesus lift up your hand say my father my God I thank you for the leading and guidance of your spirit in making the right decisions clap your hands and turn it to prayer my father my god i thank you for the leading and the guidance of your spirit in making the right decisions continue to guide me in my life financially maritally spiritually continue to guide me continue to guide my children continue to guide my helpers Continue to guide all those that are connected to me by grace. For the Bible says, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of the living God. Continue to guide me, Lord. Continue to guide me as I journey through the path of life. Glory be to God. Friends, good morning good afternoon good evening depending on wherever you are hearing me from if god opens your eyes to see how much the enemy fights against you day and night if not for the hand of his grace and mercy that is protecting you that is keeping you safe from the plot of the wicked who you will have all been victims Glory to Jesus. You will have all been victims. Hallelujah. Mago de Bege, Nanga Ragadaba, Masekele Bogoshi Glaba Handiaba. If not for the hand of God 
that is protecting you from the voice the predictions of the wicked many under the influence of my voice you will not be standing today but glory be to god who has not allowed us to end up as prey in the hands of the wicked thanks be to god that always causes us to triumph in christ jesus and that is why next sunday all we are doing is prayers of thanksgiving for divine protection prayers of thanksgiving for divine protection you that had a severe issue on your knees the arthritis affecting you is so bad that you can't even bend your knees well and it has been said that you need some medical attention i hope it's not an operation please put your hands on your knees by the power that is in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god be healed and be made whole be healed and be made whole be healed and be made whole in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of god hallelujah lift up your hand say my father my god thank you for your great mercies and kindness over me and my household thank you for your great mercies and kindness over me and my household turn it to prayer my father my god thank you for your great mercies and kindness over me and my household i give you glory lord i celebrate you lord i celebrate you lord i celebrate you glory be to your holy name in jesus mighty name hallelujah today by the grace of god we are looking at the provisions god has made for us for divine protection last sunday by god's grace we saw the need for divine protection we saw the need why we need divine protection today we are looking at the provision the channels that jehovah god has made for our divine protection hallelujah we're looking at the channels god has provided for our divine protection friends the almighty god knows that we live in a wicked world the almighty god knows that the world which we live in is carpeted with wickedness so he has made provision for our divine protection as his children just as every same parent we provide protection for their children the same with the almighty god i want to say to you today if you are a child of god and you are listening to me god got you covered you are covered by the mercies of god you are covered by the grace of god jehovah god your father will not allow the evil to destroy you or to touch you in the name of jesus will not allow the evil one to destroy you or to touch you jehovah god your father will not allow the evil one to destroy you or to touch you because you are his child just as you if you are a parent we protect your children from the evil one so the almighty god does for his children psalm 91 and verse 3 niv version psalm 91 and verse 3 niv version surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence surely he will save you surely he will protect you surely he will guide you surely he will cover you from the traps of the fowler and from every form of deadly pestilence so whichever way the enemy wants to bring it or whichever way it is coming by the mercies of god you are covered you are protected you are saved in the name of jesus lift your hand and say thank you lord glory be to god hallelujah so let's look at ways god uses to protect us supernaturally number one salvation when you give your life to christ you change position when you ask jesus to come into you as your lord and your personal savior you change position you begin to sit where christ is seated <laughs> hallelujah so whatever cannot touch jesus can touch you 
Ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 to 21 Ephesians 1 20 to 21 verse 20 that raised Christ from the dead and seated him in the place of honor at God's right hand in heavenly places verse 21 now he is far above that's why Christ is seated far above any ruler or authority or power or leader or anything else not only in this world not only in this world but also in the world to come friends and if you are in Christ it means that you are seated where Christ is seated and glory to God Christ is seated far above far above any ruler or authority or power or leaders or anything else not only in this world but also in the world to come can't you see that you cannot you cannot be touched can't you see that the devourer cannot devour you that is why you must carry your family along with you as you commit yourself in serving God make them also serve the Lord and receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior glory to God because if you are in Christ you are far beyond the reach of the wicked so the number one way God is provided for us divine protection is salvation I ask are you born again if you are not please this day make that decision and ask Jesus into your life as your Lord and your personal Savior glory to God number two is the blood of Jesus the internal blood of Jesus I want to say this here I believe that the blood of Jesus is not just for the remission of our sins but also for our protection because the blood is still speaking because the Bible says that the life of a man is in the blood amen glory to God so if you are a child of God you can use the weight pump of the internal blood of Jesus as a means for divine protection look at this Exodus chapter 12 and verse 13 NLT version Exodus 12 verse 13 but the blood on your doorpost will serve as a sign glory to God now this is the old testament and the old testament is a shadow of what to come to pass in the new in the new jesus he shed his blood for us and if you accept jesus as your lord and savior the blood of jesus is speaking all over you glory to god hallelujah so that blood serves as a sign wherever you walk into day or night there is a sign on you of the blood and wherever the blood is and speak it is saying touch not touch not glory to God look at it again Exodus 12 verse 13 NLT version but the blood on your doorpost will serve as a sign marking the houses where you are staying when I see the blood I will pass over you this plague of death will not touch you when I strike the land of Egypt I stand on the authority of the word of God I decree and I declare whatever is touching others around your community whatever is touching others around your city whatever is touching others around your nation for evil minus you minus your household minus you minus your household minus you minus your household by the internal blood of Jesus Christ glory to God so you can declare the blood of Jesus when you are going out declare the blood of Jesus when you are flying declare the blood of Jesus before you sleep and decree and, de and decree and declare that let the blood speak for you and it will speak because the blood blood has voice glory to God the Bible said the blood of Jesus speak better things than the blood of Abel number three provision God is made for our divine protection is the ministry of angels the angels of God hallelujah Psalm 34 and verse 7 NLT version Psalm 34 verse 7 verse 7 for the angel of the Lord is a God he surrounds and defend all who fear him 
to fear God is to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior to fear God is to walk in the path of the Lord to fear God is to walk in the precepts of the Lord and you can't do that without grace and grace is Jesus Christ so if you are in Christ the angels of God are designed to guide you to defend you and to surround you remember the Bible said that his angels are servants to the heads of salvation glory to God they encamp around those that fear God so you have the angels of God for your divine protection you can send them on assignment hallelujah glory to God you can position them around your house you can position them as you fly as you travel because they are assigned to you by Jehovah the internal one as your bodyguards glory to God number four provision for our divine protection is prayers friends prayer is powerful praying for yourself or someone praying for you glory to God you can enjoy the reality of divine protection through prayers friends I have seen that happen in my life and I've seen God use me in the place of prayer to intercept the plot and conspiracy of the wicked against a lot of people glory to God in the place of prayer demonic activity can be intercepted in the place of prayer satanic programs can be aborted glory to God as much as prayer is designed for fellowshipping with God but I tell you as you fellowship with God it provides you comfort as you fellowship with God it provides you guidance as you fellowship with God it provides you peace and rest of mind Luke chapter 22 and verse 31 to 32 glory to God verse 31 Simon Simon Satan has asked to sift each of you like weed verse 32 but I have prayed for you Simon that your faith will not fail and when you have turned back strengthen your brethren prayer is one powerful way that we enjoy divine protections friends Jesus said to Simon Peter he said the devil wishes and desire to sniff you as wheat the devil is wicked he said but i have prayed for you by my prayer i intercepted the desires and the plot of the wicked to sift you as wheat so you can stop the advancement of satanic plot in the place of prayer please friends you pray for protection pray from harmful occurrences such as sickness accident attacks Pray for divine guidance and for divine provision. Glory to God. Number five way by which God has provided for us divine protection is the leading and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Do you know friends, if you are sensitive to the leading of the Holy Ghost and you obey the Holy Ghost constantly, you can escape all your life the traps of the wicked position and design against you i've seen many ended up as victims of the wicked because of lack of guidance and direction there are places you shouldn't go to that you keep going and that is the reason for your downwardsness in life there are places you go to that you should not eat that you've been eating there are cities you should not visit that you have carried yourself into friends when you go where god has not led you to when you do what god has not commissioned you to do you will not enjoy the backing of god so the guidance of the holy ghost the leading of the holy ghost is a must if you want to enjoy divine protection the day the road will be hungry i decree and i declare may you not pass that road that day the day the air will be hungry may you not fly that day in the name of jesus christ the son of the holy ghost may god help you to become sensitive to his leading and guidance that you know when the lord is saying don't go out today go out today do this today don't do this may you grow to that point in the mighty name of jesus christ the son of god number six provision 
for our divine protection is the name of Jesus the internal name of Jesus Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10 glory to God verse 10 the name of the Lord is a strong tower the righteous run it into it and is safe the internal name of Jesus is given to us as a refuge both in the spirit and in the physical the name of the Lord is a strong tower there are times you may not have the opportunity to pray but you can shout the name of Jesus there are times in the faces of challenges you might not be able to call your pastor or your leader your husband or your wife to join you in prayers but you can shout the name of Jesus and friends that name is enough you that have terrible weight on your shoulders like somebody put loads on your shoulders I decree be relieved now be relieved now in the name of Jesus from that attack every kidney you just receive a message from the doctor that you have oh my god a kidney infection the Lord heals you now in the mighty name of Jesus I decree that your system be washed in Jesus mighty name the internal name of Jesus Christ is a provision for our divine protection one of the provisions for our divine protection learn to declare the name of Jesus learn to declare the name of Jesus in the face of issues when you don't know what to do declare the name of Jesus there is answer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God finally the last step for the provision made by the Almighty God for our divine protection is his mercies the mercies of God friends in all that we do in all that we say the mercies of God is the crown of it all the reason we are not consumed is because of the mercies of God the reason we go to bed at night and wake up in the morning it is the mercies of God the reason we journey through life untouched by the wicked it is the mercies of God it's not how good you are it's not how smart you are it's not how intelligent you are it is the mercies of God thank God for all of these provisions that have been made for our divine protection but the crown of it all friends it's the mercies of God glory to God learn to thank God for his mercies learn to just call God for his mercies because friends there are things God will do in your life not because of what you have done not because of how you have prayed but just because of his mercies Lamentation chapter 3 and verse 22 King James Version Lamentation 3 verse 22 he says it is the lost mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not brethren i pray that the mercy of god continue to keep you that the mercy of god continue to keep your children that the mercies of god defend you that the mercies of god save you from disaster from violence that the mercies of god save you from what we cheaply destroy and bring others down in the name of jesus christ the son of the living God the Bible says his compassion faileth not I decree and I declare that the compassion of God meets you at the point of your need that God will do for you things that you cannot do for yourself that the hand of God will give you things not for your sake but for his name's sake in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God blind by Timaeus understood this great secret even though he was blind he cried on God and said Jesus that son of David have mercy on me and the mercies of God answered him may the mercy of God answer you this week may the mercy of God answer your children this week in the name of Jesus Christ 
May the mercy of God meet you at the point of your need. May the compassion of God heal you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. May this be a week of testimonies for you. Enjoy divine protection wherever the wicked is camped against you. That camp will end up in disarray and frustration. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of of the living God hallelujah glory to God lift up your hands say father thank you for always being faithful thank you for keeping me clap your hands and turn into prayer thank you Lord for always being faithful thank you Lord for keeping me thank you Lord for always being faithful to my children thank you Lord for keeping them glory be to your holy name I worship and adore you Lord I give you praise and honor Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. In the name of Jesus Christ, every dispute that you are in, dispute in your office, dispute over a property, dispute over any form of finances, I decree God's intervention now in the name of jesus that matter is resolved in your favor let me hear your testimony to the glory of god every dark cloud wavering over that family i arrest in the name of jesus i rebuke you devil go in jesus name i decree the peace and the rest of god upon that family congratulations in jesus mighty name glory to god lift your hand say mercies of god defend me and my children begin to pray mention the areas that you desire the mercies of god to defend you and your children mercies of god defend me and my children all those connected to me by grace all those serving under the grace upon my life those assigned to me as helpers as leaders mercies of god defend me defend them defend their children in jesus mighty name we pray saints of god these are the provisions for our divine protection walk in them with revelation and understanding i trust the lord you will continue to enjoy divine protection next sunday we're going to be thanking god in prayers for divine protection god is faithful if you have not given your life to christ please you need to do so it is a first step to enjoy divine protection hallelujah in christ jesus we are saved we are secured say lord jesus come into my life as my lord and my personal savior i surrender my life to you forgive me my sins in jesus mighty name you have prayed this short prayer congratulations you are saved and washed by the blood of jesus glory to god if you have any form of sickness in your body lay your hands there from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet receive your healing receive your healing receive your healing receive your healing in jesus mighty name glory to god congratulations saints of god don't forget join me in preaching by sharing the word of god the lord keep you amen